Voice of Fire would identify four crops, largely maize, soya, cassava, and rice, which incidentally keys into the transformation agenda of federal government. And most importantly, also, the area of synergy is quickly seen with today's signing of an MOU on the cassava transformation. I'm excited to be in Kwaya State because of the inspirational vision and leadership of His Excellency Governor, uh, uh, His Excellency Ahmed. And I think from the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, we recognize that agriculture is done at the state level. So we have to work and we are working very closely with the state. The Memorandum of Understanding that we signed today, in fact, we like not to call it Memorandum of Understanding, Implementation Agreement, is how we are going to transform collectively together the uh, cassava sector here. But not just cassava. You know, His Excellency has mentioned the issue of rice, cassava, maize and soybean and also dairy that he mentioned, including agriculture. In all these areas, we are going to work very closely with the state government. I think if there's any state that can lead is Kwara State. The amiable governor of Kwara State, Alaji Abdul Fattah Ahmed, in his determination to make Kwara State a modern center for agro-processing and value chain in agriculture, inaugurated a committee with Dr. Adegboiga Shomide, the project consultant as chairman, Professor Ronnie Kaufman, Professor Harold M. Vaines, Professor Peter Gregory of Cornell University, USA, Professor Nala, Vice Chancellor, Kwara State University, Professor M. A. Bileu, Professor Funsho Oluleye, and Dr. Mrs. O. Fatima Adekola of the University of Ilori as members. The committee's responsibility is to draw up a systematic and methodological five-year Quara Agricultural Modernization Master Plan on commercialized agriculture as a special purpose vehicle to attract foreign investment and thus put Quara State on the world map as an agricultural investment destination in West Africa. We want to begin to create a platform that will sustain Sustainability requires careful, methodically designed and articulated master plan. This can only be achieved when we take advantage of best practices. And that informed our desire to seek support from the University in conjunction with what we have always sought in the past to see the involvement of our great institutions and the University and also other support institutions like in and anti coming together and designing a master plan that will truly begin to see a great transformation as an economic growth for support for food and also for creation of growth. This has been lacking in the country. Policies are not consistent. We want to prove this one. We want to show that it's doable and perhaps it will be the first to start. Opportunities for investment in Kwara State include direct cultivation of six crops, cassava, rice, maize, cowpea, soya beans, and groundnuts. Other crops that can be grown include cashew nuts, yams, beans, sugarcane, and cotton, cocoa, coffee, tobacco, and palm produce. Various fruits and vegetables such as tomatoes, mangoes, oranges, pineapples and bananas are also cultivated in the state. The incentives being offered by the Kwara State Government have become a point of attraction for agricultural investors from within and outside the country. Today, there are many more commercial farms in Kwara State belonging to Nigerians, most of whom are non quarans this is because the state government facilitates land acquisition by interested investors. The impacts of these steps taken, and those still being taken, no doubt have put Kwara State on the world map as an emerging leader in food and raw material production. The sense and the template that we have been able to develop in Chunga Farm to other parts of the state, and the present government of Elijah Fatah Ahmed is already working on that. Uh, we've, we've learned a lot of lessons about the structure, where we are now. It's, it's taking us quite a while for us to be able to get to where we are now. And then, uh, so the template obviously is going to Kwara South, it's coming to Kwara Central, uh, in not too long a distance. We're putting in perspective that we have a cargo terminal, 
we have the Malete Youth Farm, we have the Shonga Farmers, we have all sorts of you know things that have been done. Let us look at this. Where do we this vision? Let us concretize it. Where do we want to see ourselves? The governor Elijah Abdul Fatah Ahmed said, I want us to be the agricultural hub. Kwan State to be the agricultural hub, not only for Nigeria, but for West Africa. How do we achieve that? That's the vision. Now, how do we achieve that? We need to now put in place plans, what we need to do, step by step, to get to that goal. So this master plan, this Kwara Agricultural Modernization Master Plan, is designed to make, it's a step, the first critical step to be taken in order to achieve that goal of making Kwara the agricultural hub for West Africa. His Excellency, Alaji Abdul Fattah Ahmed, through his revolutionary agricultural project, is committed and eager to see a day when bankers would mill around farms, seeking business and competing for farmers' bank accounts. The Alaji Abdul Fattah Ahmed bold step in taking the Kwara agricultural revolution to the next level and his continuity agenda is unrivaled and wise investors are trooping to the state. What are you waiting for? Kwara State is the right place to be for commercial farming in Nigeria. Indeed, it is a new food basket of the nation and the emerging agricultural hub of West Africa. Abdul Fattah Ahmed, the hard-working governor, is indisputably committed to assuring future abundance. Music